Hello, it's Two Sheds Gabby, and let's do a penny hunt. I was out and about a little bit uh, this morning. Stopped into a bank branch and asked if they had a box of pennies, and they did. I went through them and looked. The only thing that I would call an ender, there's a 2009 memorial there. Pretty nice shape. It's a nice one. Anyway, I'll open this one first, and then we will uh, get to the others. See if we can get what I usually like to find is my three pounds of copper and 10 wheat pennies. Anything else different than that is always fun to find. And uh, let's get started right now. Here's the 2009 that was in that first roll I opened. It's pretty good condition. But besides that, there was 14 copper pennies. Man, I, I hope that stays consistent. That would be great. This is the second row I've opened, and already I have wheat penny number one, 1953D. It's a pretty nice one there. Very nice condition. So I was out and about a little bit this morning. That's why I picked up these uh, this box of pennies. And I mentioned, um, I think last week, that I had this Culver's coupon for a buy one, get one free double butter burger. And so we, we took advantage of that today. And those things are good. I, tell you, I don't know how healthy they are, but they, they sure do taste good. While I was at the bank, I um, asked if they had half dollars and she had $3.50 worth. I didn't get silver, but I got another proof. 2020 proof. A little bit of wear, but they're just fun, fun to collect, I think. I like that mirror shine. Oh, I think I see a Canadian there. Is that a new one? Yep, no copper in that one. So copper today, this morning is at $4.18 a pound. I think it makes it 2.77 cents per penny. Which it's it's worked its way back up a little bit. It was 2.6 something a couple of weeks ago. And I think last week was 2.73 cents per each. So creeping back up. It was earlier this year that copper hit its highest point, $5.20 per pound. And it, Held there a little bit, but then, you know, the market does weird stuff and it came back down. But it will get back up there again someday. Ninth roll, wheat penny number two. Let's see what year we got. Uh-oh. Another one with a missing number. Huh. That's cool. I'll look that under the time, love. That's pretty fascinating there, folks. Pretty cool. The five is not struck real well but I don't see like a scar or a gash or anything that would have knocked it off. I believe we may have a mint error, maybe. Nice, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like finding stuff like that. Copper. Copper's been pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I think um, I think I'm well within getting my three pound average so far, but we're just nine rolls in. Ninety-eight. That says. We went past a couple of uh, people out begging for money, and we're out in the kind of a 
back end of the suburbs, I guess you'd say, getting close to rural. And as we're coming off of a ramp, um, one of the guys, he's 30s or 40s, I guess I'd say, and he's waving at everybody, you know. If he can make that connection with you, then he's hoping he can score a little more. Although I have nothing against the person waving at people. He seemed healthy, but, you know, there's an 83 all way. A lot of times, I think it's not just physical health, but it's mental health sometimes. That's the zinc. I don't know what the answer is. I, you know, I can't give to every healthy looking person that's out there. I tried to give some money to the guys or gals that look like they're really struggling and in need. There's a guy in downtown Louisville that's on a wheelchair with one leg. I have no problem giving that guy a little bit. I don't know what his situation is, you know, but um, I give him some money when I get a chance. There is a young lady out on one of the streets that um, she has two artificial legs and even her fingers are not all right. Clearly it was a uh, birth defect of some type. No problem at all giving that person some money. But when they look real healthy, sometimes I really struggle. And maybe I shouldn't be that way, but I know there's so many people out there. We've seen videos of them scamming, and I, I hate that. This is the next roll, and here's a nice-looking 57D wheat penny. Oh, my, that's really in good shape there. Mm-hmm. Like finding those. A little bit of wear on the beard, you know, it's not perfect, but it sure is uh, a good one. 4 the end of the roll there. There's another one. Wheat penny number four. Oh, I believe that might be another one behind it, right behind it. Oh, 1938. Cool. What do we have here? 1942. Oh, that's pretty cool. Back to back. I don't see that very often. But that's number four and five. Pretty neat. I was talking about um, earlier today, seeing the people on the street bumming for money. And I don't know if I've told this before. My brother's father-in-law, a few of the guys, older guys in his neighborhood, they're they volunteered to go around the neighborhood and clean up the trash. And one section of the neighborhood um, is where homeless people stand and beg for money. And he literally picks up hundreds of pennies there because anybody that comes by and gives change, he just throws all the pennies down in that little curb area that, he, that they stand in. That's unreal, ain't it? Right at the end of the 24th row, which means I had an ender but didn't know it because it was the obverse and the paper was covering up part of the number, but I had a wheat penny. And this is uh, one more row before the first half is over. And this is wheat penny number six. Ooh, 1919. There's an old one. That's cool. I like that. I'm finished with the first half, but I just wanted to show you that I did keep one copper one. It's another one that's slightly off center, but it's a 1972 and it just looks mighty good. So I thought I'd keep that one aside. Fourth row in the second half and there's wheat penny number seven. 57 Philly. Cool. You know, early in this year, I was like getting a dime. It seemed like almost every box. And I haven't seen one for quite some time. And I, and I thought to myself for a second, I can't seem to buy a dime. But that's not the point. 
<laughs> I could buy a dime, but I like finding them in the penny boxes. And one of the reasons I say that is because I'm constantly getting people writing and saying, if you want to buy some copper, why don't you just buy some copper? I mean, if you want some copper, just buy some copper. Or if you want some silver, just buy some silver. It's like, that's just not the point. Yeah, I could go out and pay premium for all of these things. I could go pay 11 cents for a dime if I wanted to. But I like the fun of getting them for a penny. It's part of the fun of the hobby. <laughs> but uh, I would like to get another one before the year's over. To make it 20, I got 19 dimes coin roll hunting this year. Here's my first Canadian copper. Cool. 1965. Very, very good. Glad to get one of those. Eighty-two. Another eighty-two. Here's wheat penny number eight. I've still got a bunch of rolls left. I feel like nineteen forty-seven D. I feel like I got a pretty good shot. At my 10 in this box. We lost my dad a few years ago, but today is one of his birthdays. He, um, he was born in 1930. He made it to be 90 years old. And his, uh, the birth, his birthday on his birth certificate was off by one day, his mom told him. So, he just grew up celebrating two days in a row. <laughs> the birth the birth certificate birthday and his real birthday. So somebody called him either one of those days and said happy birthday. He, he felt fine. What do you think's going on with this one? The back looks normal. But the front did it not get the copper coating or is it another coating on top of the copper? I just don't know. It's not a good angle, is it? What do you think? I'll definitely put it aside. I've got a little bottle of oddballs. This will probably go in. I just came across another Canadian. 1972. That's two copper Canadians. I was thinking, you know what would be a lot of fun? If you open a box of pennies and you found a wheat penny from every decade. 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, ooh, 10s, and then the tough one. 1909 is your only choice. Boy, that would be a That'd be amazing, but that'd be a, that'd be fun, but that'd be a tough one to find. Well, pretty quickly, here is now my third Canadian copper coin. Nineteen sixty-four cool beans. I did want to say for <laughs> you guys that are waiting for me to get out there and do some metal detecting. I want to get out there. I got out there and I got to eat about mosquitoes. I pulled up a plug and it was hard as a rock. It's it's about 97 degrees out there today. It's been really hot lately. And I'm just going to wait till it cools off just a little bit. I, hope, I think next week we're going to get some rain. Soften the ground back up a little bit. And then I'll get out there. But I did find that uh, I use... Uh, Young Living Essential Oils. And I did find that putting citronella on helps with the mosquitoes. So I'll do that, and that'll help. And I found I've got a bug light, but I don't have it. You know, I might try to get that hooked up in the morning. Have my bug light, for at least for my own yard. But um, bear with me. Sorry I haven't done more.
still at eight wee pennies. I think I got like 12 rows to go. I'm still hoping to get the 10. Well, goodness, folks, I never got one more wheat penny out of all those rolls. I think I'm going to have over three pounds. I still got the 82s I got to weigh real quick, and then I will weigh these. And we're going to start a new box uh, for my copper pennies to go in. Each box, uh, I put 15 pounds in and seal it up. And I'm working on a goal of 260. Well, I only got uh, eight wheat pennies, unfortunately. I thought, sure, I'd get a, another one or two, but I did not. I got a couple of uh, Canadian. And I got that one penny that um missing a, a number on the date. I'm hoping that's a pretty pretty cool thing. Here we go. Moment of truth. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it. Oh, yeah. Three pounds, eight something ounces. Pretty good. Not a bad box. Not bad at all. And I'll, uh, I'll throw this over into that box, and we got a new one started to continue on with my goal for the year. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.